Good morning, it is the weekend. Woo -woo. I'm getting ready to meet my friend Tiffany for coffee this morning, so I'm about to head out and I wanted to give you a quick outfit of the day before I go. So I'm wearing this cute sweatshirt. I actually got this from my church. It's a part of our like merch line and it's super comfortable and it's in like the 60s right now. So perfect little sweater weather. These jeans slash jeggings are actually from Casey Holmes Rosie Days Boutique. You've probably heard about it before and you may or may not have ordered, but these are the most comfortable pair of jeggings ever. They actually don't even have like a um, regular belt loop. It's, it's a elastic waistband and they're so comfortable. I wear them a lot. They're the Can Can line that she carries. I got these a while ago, so they might not have the exact same ones, but I love the distressed look, and I honestly want to get more of these. And then check out these new kicks. What? What? I know. I'm in love. I was hating on the dad shoe trend for a long time, I will admit, but it grew on me, and I'm absolutely in love with these. And I actually got these from Just Fab. This is not sponsored, but they did send these to me to show off for an Instagram campaign. So I will be posting these up on the gram. They're so fun. They have a little bit of a platform, so they kind of make me a little taller. And the most important thing to me is they are so comfortable. I feel like I'm walking on clouds. So yeah, that's the outfit for today. I recurled my hair, just a couple of front pieces to give a little extra wave. And I'm actually singing on our worship team tonight at church so i wanted to kind of like get ready beforehand yeah we're just gonna meet for coffee hang out we have a lot of catching up to do and then i'm gonna head home and i'll be at church pretty much for the rest of the night which will take up most of my day but honestly i love being there i love the people there it's so fun and i'm really excited to sing tonight i'm gonna get going to my coffee date and i'll see if i can bring you guys along with me a little also quick update yesterday I dropped my surface. It actually kind of shattered on the corner and I'm really upset about this. I didn't shed a tear, but I'm super upset. But I'm trying to figure out what to do about that because it's working okay right now, but unfortunately I don't think we have it under warranty or anything like that. We actually got it from Costco and we always like turn down those warranty things because usually stuff like this doesn't happen and I get that that's why you have like warranties and stuff and obviously like we have insurance for important things, but as far as the computer goes, I'm really not sure. We're just trying to figure that out because that's not an expense that we were expecting to pick up right now. And it never is when you drop something like an electronic or a phone or something. So yeah, that's not super fun. Hi guys. So I just pulled into the mall where we're getting Starbucks and I just had Mitchell install this new mount for my Osmo Pocket, the camera that I use, and I'm testing it out. It's really cool. It's like on the dash, so I could probably show you, but it's like in there right now. I'm really excited it came in. It was $10 on Amazon. I also have this face track setting on the camera where it's supposed to follow my face. I haven't really played around with that a whole lot, but maybe I should because it's kind of cool. I love technology and I love like learning about new things that are out there because I think it's really amazing how far our society has come to be able to first of all have a camera this small that's like good and also to do stuff like wireless and bluetooth and all that like it's just crazy anyone remember the days that we were using cd players to listen to music i remember my sister would give me all of her old like cds and stuff like that i remember like opening the cd player and then popping it in and shutting it and that having the headphones and like listening to my cds it was so fun and then after that, I remember the iPod was like new and I had one of the little square ones. It was a Nano and I remember buying all of my songs on iTunes, which I don't, I don't do that anymore. I don't know if any of you guys do, but I think the majority of us are all paying for like Spotify or a subscription to have unlimited access to music on this topic. I actually got CarPlay, so this is a new car I got last month in December, and it has CarPlay, which is super cool. I didn't know anything about it until I got this vehicle. I've been trying to play around with the best stuff to use on CarPlay, like researching it and stuff, and one of the things that I want to know is what the best music service is for it, because I use Spotify currently, and I really love Spotify, but I like 
the idea of YouTube Premium, and I think if I'm paying for Spotify, I almost would rather switch to YouTube. That way I wouldn't have ads. I would be able to play it with like closing the app and it plays in the background. And then I'm not sure how it all works on CarPlay, but the YouTube app is only for YouTube music on CarPlay. It won't let you have the regular YouTube app, I don't think. I can't get that to come up. But the YouTube music app says you must have a subscription to premium to use this feature. So it's kind of one of those things where they tell you like you must have a subscription. I'm like, well, you're making me like curious. Like, is it worth it? Like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go inside and meet up with my friend for coffee and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. home now. I just had an amazing time with my friend Tiff. She is just incredible. And Tiff, if you're watching this, I love you and I had so much fun with you. We just honestly grabbed Starbucks and talked for like three hours or something like that. So yeah, it's lunchtime now. So I'm going to go home and get some food before I head over to church. I have to be at the church in a couple of hours. So I'll have some time to just eat and kind of chill. I want to kind of like freshen up my makeup and maybe touch up my hair. I don't know what I want to wear tonight because I would love to wear this sweatshirt and I could totally do that but I get really hot up there on the stage because of like the lights and like jump, we're jumping around and all of that so I don't know I just I get really hot up there. I just I like to wear breathable airy things when I'm up there so I don't know I have to figure out what I want to wear but I'm definitely wearing these shoes because they are so comfortable and they're just like so cute and fun. I love them. And the weather actually improved a lot. It was gross this morning and it was gloomy and it looked like it was raining earlier. I don't know, but everything just cleared up while we were at coffee and it is gorgeous outside. No clouds in the sky. It's blue sky. These are my favorite kind of days and makes me want to like go to the beach or something. That is definitely a perk of living in Florida during this time of year or really all year round is we do get these beautiful days and it's probably snowing up north right now and I can just hop in the pool right now. <laughs> so I'm really grateful for that, I won't lie. I did a quick outfit change. I've been home for a little bit, just kind of doing laundry, dishes, all that stuff that needs to happen on the weekends before I head over to church. I thought I would go for a little bit more of a sporty look tonight, and I kept the shoes, so I kind of based the outfit around the shoes, honestly. Um, I switched my jeans, and I switched my top and jacket. I wanted to wear that sweatshirt, but it gets really hot on the stage, like with the lights and stuff in it, so I decided to change. This is just a tank I got from Nordstrom last weekend? Was that last weekend? Whenever I went with my friend Melissa, we went shopping and I got a bunch of tank tops. I decided to throw on this jacket. This is from Lululemon. I got this a while ago and it's just a rain jacket, but I thought it'd be like a fun sporty look to throw this on with these sneakers. So yeah, so that's what I'm wearing tonight. I'm getting ready to head over to church and it's going to be a good night. <laughs> We just got out of church and now we're grabbing some dinner with friends at Whole Foods and I got some really yummy looking food. Let me show you. I got orange chicken, green beans, mac and cheese, one plantain, one fried yuca, and a LaCroix in the Korean raspberry flavor. What'd you get, babe? Show us what you got. What you got. Uh, orange chicken, cold chicken, plantains, green beans, garlic, carrots, and meatballs and marinara. Oh, and chicken curry. Yum! Usually I get salads from here, but I decided to switch it up. And this looks bomb, so I'm about to crush this. Mm -hmm. 